After years of leaky ceilings and other damage at their high school, East Long Meadows school officials met with parents and members of the public to discuss a possible plan moving forward. Thanks for joining us here on Western Mass News. I'm Chris Pisano. Western Mass News reporter Maria Wilson joins us in studio with the latest from tonight's meeting. Maria. Chris, after weighing their options, the school building committee is looking towards a new school building for the high school, a move that many that I spoke with say they support. We have a slide up there that said, what if we do nothing? So as a community, if we, for some horrible reason, decide to do nothing, um, how much longer can we really kick the can down the road with this existing building? Dozens of East Long Meadow parents voiced their concerns on Thursday about the current shape of the high school. Members of the school building committee walked attendees through four options moving forward, including building a new school, renovating the current building, and only completing basic repairs. Members of the school building committee walked attendees through four options moving forward, including building a new school, renovating the current building, and only completing basic repairs. The meeting took place after a brief tour of the school where parents and community members saw firsthand the damage inside the high school. During the meeting, the committee presented details on the option they feel is best, building a new school. The school building committee elected to proceed with um, what we're calling option 3C. We were surprised to see that the ad reno option was so close to the all new option in terms of cost figures. Um, and a lot of that had to do with the, the age of the building and really trying to bring it all up to code. The cost of the new building was a major concern for many attendees. I have five kids in school, so I think it's really important that we realistically think about all the options that we're talking about for our kids and as a taxpayer. But I think that it's also important that we give people real numbers. The cost is projected to be between $175 and $180 million. The Massachusetts School Building Authority will reimburse the district more than 56% of eligible costs, which in this case would cover about $55 million, according to committee members. Committee members also unveiled preliminary designs for the new school, which would be nearly 5,000 square feet larger than the existing building and built right next to it. West Western Mass News spoke with one parent who says it's about time the district rebuilds the school. The school needs to be replaced sooner rather than later. And the project will enter its next phase, which would in part define a budget. And that will happen if the feasibility study is approved during an April 26th meeting. And if all goes according to plan, construction is expected to start in 2024. Reporting in studio, Maria Wilson, Western Mass News.